Next up, oh, how times have changed. So Tim Draper just put out a tweet today, 10 a.m., and he talks about, hey, I recently purchased some Bitcoin Cash. So easy to buy and use. Go to Bitcoin.com. Thank you, Roger Veer Cash, for this innovation. Hashtag Bitcoin. Hashtag Bitcoin Cash. And I got to tell you, Tim Draper has been an OG maximalist. I mean, a Bitcoin guy for the quite quite a long time. I, actually, I shouldn't say that. He's not a Bitcoin maximalist because he talks about a lot of different other altcoins. But he was one of the first that really got into Bitcoin. And I think it was 2013, 2014, when he bought up millions of dollars worth of seized Bitcoin from the U.S. government. And he bought it for like next to nothing. And now just another just another billion dollar pocket change that uh, Tim's got. But uh, I do like this guy. I mean, I, I think he's got a lot of uh, information in there. So when he comes out and says, hey, Bitcoin Cash is so easy to buy and use, it's um, a little, it just leaves a lot of questions. We'll just say that. So does Tim believe that Bitcoin Cash uh, is really easy to use and buy? Eh, probably. I mean, right now, I got to tell you, it's, uh, it's a hell of a lot faster than Ethereum. I'm going to tell you why. So I've been talking about this website called txstreet.com. And it's like a nice little graphical representation of all the different transactions that are going on. And you can look at Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin Cash. So right now, uh, the medium fee is only 464 So thank goodness for that. Hopefully, OMG is taking over a little bit more. But you're going to see like all the different things like Tether, Uniswap, Maker, Kyber Network, Curve, Zero uh, X, all a compound, all the different ones that are different transactions for really DeFi and what is going on. So there's a lot of transactions going on right here, a lot of activity. So we take a look at that. We'll take a look at Bitcoin. And with Bitcoin, you know, it's every 10 minutes a transaction happens. So look at that station. It must be just about now. So wow, it's a lot going on. And then we take a look at Bitcoin Cash. Ah, oh, cue the violin music. So yeah, that's a sad state of affairs. What are you gonna do? So yeah, I believe you, Draper. I believe that, uh, what's this? Two years ago, I posted that dinner problem hadn't been solved. We had Wednesday of trust. Wow, that's interesting. I never seen that before. So anyhow, uh, Draper, uh, you're right. It's super fast and super easy because there's nothing really going on. However, don't let yourself just sleep just yet because there is going to be a hard fork coming about between Bitcoin Cash and the two different factions that have appeared. On one side of Bitcoin Cash, they think that there should be an 8% fee, which will be charged to all the miners, which will be put back into uh, the project itself to help it grow. And on another side, uh, I think it's AABH, I always forget it. Uh, correct me Correct me in the, in the comment section. I know I'm not right this on this one, but another one, I forgot the name, they're like, no, 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 we're not going to charge anybody 8%. You know, forget you, uh, we're not going to have this. And it's become such a thing that they're going to split off and it's going to be a hard fork. So uh, we'll see how that happens. You know what I need to do? I need to get somebody from Bitcoin Cash to come on this channel and explain it all to me because that would be interesting. But uh, Draper, you're right. Super easy to uh, use because there's nothing really going on. One thing I will say about Tim Draper, uh, he knows how to make an entrance and know how, knows how to put out a nice, juicy tweet. However, I don't think he's really good at tagging the right people. Uh, thank you at Roger Ver Cash it is not Roger Veer. It is a retired doctor and current philanthropist, pilot in training, born and reside in Florida and escape to Australia during winter. Don't think that's Roger Bear. So anyhow, it's okay, Tim. My Twitter game is weak as well.